All right, hey everyone, it is a new day and a new video. In the last video, we made this beast of a wall frame, which is actually the smallest one. And in this video, we're gonna do the next wall frame. So this is the uh, outside uh, on the left of the building, when you look at the plan, left-hand wall. And the next one we're doing is the middle wall. That these two, this, this wall and the next wall will have a piece between them that ties them together, if that makes sense. You'll see on the plan. So yeah, a few of the scarfs have been done for that top plate already. So we've got to get five posts lined up and I've got a big pile of braces to get through. I ran out of brace material in four inch, which is what these are. So we're going to put in some curvy organic ones as well. So I'm going to start making them while the boys lay out the uh, posts and get everything sorted out down there. All right, get to work. All right, so same as before, really, making the braces, but they're just quite a bit bigger than the last ones. See there, well, nearly as tall as me, which isn't that tall. <laughs> but yeah, so I'm making them while uh, Howard's laying up the top plate for the other wall, and then everyone's gonna start lifting the posts on in a minute. And then we've got to try and figure out what we're gonna do with these curved braces, because they're gonna be a bit awkward. But I think they're going to look nice, so I think we're going to push, persist with it. Three down. So while uh, while everyone's laying up those posts, I'm just going to start getting uh, one of these curved braces cleaned up a little bit. Just want to do one for now, make sure they look right. And then uh, we can go from there, basically. But uh, I was running out of big material to do the, um, you know, the knee braces out of the other style from the template. So I thought let's try and add a bit of organic look to it because I like both. I like the square timbers, but also like the round timbers, as I'm sure viewers of this channel will know. So it's going to be a bit of a pain, take a bit more time, but. I think we're going to try and make some of these curved ones work for the upstairs. Right, I've got that cleaned up enough so that we can uh, get an idea of what it's going to look like. Don't want to spend too much time on it, in case we decide it doesn't look right. And I've got most of the braces made. Nice long braces, it's all we make. And then there's the curved braces. I've just cleaned up, we're gonna to have to do a bit of messing around to get fitted. And uh, I've got to go early today, because I've got to get the geese in, because Dot's got to go on a course. And then we'll resume tomorrow. I've got to bring some timbers, trailer full of timbers. And yeah, then we'll really be rolling with this frame as of tomorrow. Right, right low range. Make sure we're in. Right, let's do it. Here we go, ready? All right, we arrived safely with the, another trailload of logs. We've got to offload them. Uh, after I left last night, the guys got uh, the tenons done on the long posts and the mortises, they did well. And um, yeah, so just fitting them up 
and then we've got to do one scarf joint on the end and then start laying up the other wall plate as well. So yeah, we're going ahead. But yeah, it's a bit dark in here today. It's, uh, as you've seen, it's a pretty miserable day out. So yeah, we'll uh, have a shuffle around with some vehicles, get some timbers unloaded and yeah, we'll be doing some braces on that wall frame today. I think it will go. She's tight. She's a little bit tight. Yeah, let's get the ratchet on it. We're just laying up some of these curved braces that are gonna uh, be a bit more of a pain to do, but I think they're gonna look nice if we can get them to fit, which we will. Between us, we'll manage to do this. I've successfully done curved and roundward stuff before, as I'm sure you've seen, but I uh, just wanna make sure it looks right with the other ones that are squared off. So we're gonna lay them up where they're gonna sit and then fly the drone over the top and see what it looks like. Check it looks all right. If it looks all right, we'll uh, we'll get them to work. Right, so we're just using the drone to check what these uh, braces look like. And so we just clamped them from underneath. I just wanted to make sure they didn't look too odd with the other ones, the square ones. And I think they look quite cool, to be honest. Especially that one there with a the nice curve to it. So yeah, I think we're going to go with it. I don't think it looks wrong at all to have them different on each side. I think it looks quite nice. I think it's artistic. So uh, yeah, we're going to go with that because I quite like it. All right, we're going to scribe them up and start doing them today. What are you up to there, Steve? Oh, I'm describing in these braces. Scribing the big braces. Yeah, yeah we've got a bit of a, a lot to do, so yeah. Cool. Hopefully get them cut today as well. Yeah, I think we can do it, even though it's Friday. Nice. Right, so we're doing the awkward scribe of the curvy brace. So I was just putting some flat spots on it. Just so um flat spot on your curvy Yeah, just mostly just so we can see the lines on it and then we blend that in afterwards. Yeah. On this one. That's quite square, isn't it? Pretty square. That's the other beauty of having these. Level reference lines. Yeah. Um, on this face for the top plate, because yeah. you know your posts are coming into it and your braces. So yeah, so it's hopefully level. Hopefully, then at a couple of points, you might find a flat spot. Yeah. Um, this is a bit wet, so it might be a bit fun marking. You might have to knife it through. Getting in this plane is a bit of a gas. Well, yeah, it, it on the back edge it doesn't matter so really. Matter, but you know, it does. If, even if it's a relatively loose fit on the back, it's yeah, not well, doing we'll know anything. Yeah, we'll that when we test fit them. If they don't go all the way up, and yeah, then just knock the back, knock the back off. off. Yeah, because the the timber's going to shrink anyway. So yeah. Take yeah. <laughs> exactly. Yeah. Nice. There's a lot of experience in that one wind brace. Ah, right, that we've got a nib cut. Right, we are ready to strip down and start mortising. So I was just filming uh, Howard laying out that other round mortise. Probably looks like I don't really do anything in these videos, but it's because every time you see something, it's because I'm filming it. If I am doing stuff in between, I promise. Not as much as the other guys, because I've got to film. But um, yeah, so we're going to strip this all down and then it's mortises and then fitting.
Good shot. Oh, there it is. Beautiful. Just needed a bit of fettling. That is going to look, it's going to look really nice. And that's pretty good. Yeah. So it's Monday morning, just about to go off to work. And we've got our second little lambs just come out, popped out all on its own. And good mum. So we're going to put them in a little pen now under the panels. Here's the first one we had. About three days old now. A little boy lamb. So yeah, we'll get another one in this pen. Keeps them safe from the fox and the badgers. All right, we're going to go and grab this lamb. Oh, hope we've got a girl. Little, little ewe lamb. Come on then, let me grab it. Oh. Come on then. Come on, be a good mum. Come on. Meh. Come on. Come on, good girl. She's over there, look. There she is, look. There she is. He, it's a he, is it? There we go. Safe and sound, look. Oh, aren't you lovely? Aren't you a lovely little creature? Right, that's uh, two, two sheep down, or two lambs down, five to go. But I have got to get off to the barn, do some timber framing. Hey, it's cold this morning. Right, we're here, Monday morning. And uh, today's goal is to get this wall framed on. So one scarf joint to do down the bottom, and then a couple of fit ups, and then that'll be done. Let's just leave it, we'll just work our way along. So we might as well start from this end, pull it up, yes. check it, three, four, five it. Yes. Is it good on its string line then? Should we, should we clamp the wall plate to the trestles for now just while we get them in? Yeah, most likely it will go that way. Yeah, okay. We can check that after. Cool. Right. Uh, yeah, so I'll lift that while you wrap it there. there you are. That's cool. That come off now then. Alright, so the guys are just doing a 3 4 5 to square up this post. That's a way of uh, squaring things up without a square. You measure three meters one way, four another, and way. if you've got five in the last direction, it's a perfect triangle. So we've got, um, yeah, they're going to level up that first post, and then we can measure the other ones off of it. Here is the uh, offset markings to drill to. So normally I'd have a center point where well, I've done it before. Now I just move the drill to the side. But Howard's got his special tool that offsets them. Yeah, definitely a good investment. Yeah, <laughs> well, we can just make, make one to be honest. Yeah, 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 you can easily make one. Yeah, it's quite a simple thing. 
What's the offset? About four mil? Three mil. Three mil. And when you do them, you don't go uh, like 90 degrees back. You try and follow the angle of the brace as well. Yeah, so it's... So uh, normally it would be to the shoulder. Yeah. Yeah, so we want to pull it in, yeah. but with braces, we're doing it to the shoulder in a fraction so of a turn. Pull it in and, and down, down a little towards bit. it. Yeah. yeah. Uh, Steve's done another fantastic yeah. job on the scarf yeah. joint. Sharp, isn't it? I've got to shoot off now and go and get some timber loaded on the trailer. And I've got to resaw a couple of timbers too, bring some stuff over. I think they'll probably manage without me. <laughs> oh, right. Right, I'm going to shoot off out and go get some timbers loaded up. Yeah, what's right, up? So uh, got me a uh, trailer loaded up with some timbers. These are mostly floor joists, not joist, floor beams, and a couple of eight by eights. But uh, the ground's really wet, so it's a bit of a battle. This any way I can do it. Got to put the trailer here and uh, drive on as many bits of wood over there as I can. But yeah, get in there, take them in the morning. All right, back for another day. So Steve just laying out the other curve brace, scribing it. Now it looks like he's cutting out tenons and uh, Howard is working on the scarf joint for the other wall plate, getting ready to do the other wall plate. So we get that wall frame done today and then um, start this other one. So I've got to catch up and be filming and then I'm going to date him out the next timber Howard needs and then he's start making some more braces. You alright Steve? Yeah, not too bad. I'm going to go at these funky braces. Yeah, of oh, course. Cool. So you've, you, you've done that without uh, yeah. making it yeah, a flat a bit spot. Yeah, a bit of it. guesswork, a bit of an experiment. Yeah. But, uh, but yeah, well, you just have to eye it through and sort of yeah. sketch it in, really. Mm -hmm. um, as if it's been sliced through. But, um, yeah. Yeah, it's okay. Cool. Just that back edge, isn't it? It's literally just on that step, yeah, yeah. isn't it? Yeah. You can do it like a first type of bit, can't you? you know? Yeah, that's looking quite good. Yeah. It just needs a little cuff off this back. I left the line on there just to be sure. But might um, be the tim oh, might be the timber a bit wiggly. A little bit, but yeah, I think this is shoulder back shoulder. The see you just use the saw to do a curve cut just to show him this back edge is just literally just touching, so now he's got a mark to chisel that off and it'll sit nice and flat.
That is looking really good, Steve. Yeah, really nice fit. Really, really nice fit. Right, wall frame two is complete with the curvy braces and the five, it's five meters tall. It doesn't look it when it's laid down, but it is, it's five meters tall. So um, Steve and I have finished up this end with the curves. So we're just having a tidy up and then I'll show you from the drone above, get some better shots. Yeah, looking cool. Still some datum marks and some labeling marks to do and some peg holes to drill. But other than that, we're done. It's not gonna go back together now. So that's why I'm t showing it to you. Yeah, lovely curvy braces. So Steve is just putting some marks on. So these are datum marks that we can refer back to because one of these frames, the first one we did is actually shorter and it sits on pillars that are a bit taller. So we need a reference point to mark everything from. So that's what that is. It's a reference to work from. And then I think you've been marking some stuff. Is it? Is this curly, this frame, is that right? Curly. So yeah, this frame is what they call curly. So three gouge chisel marks. So yeah, this is curly number three. Flag. And flag, yeah. So yeah. Cur cur curly, curly. It's, it's curly three and then flag, which means it's on this to the that's right, basically, yeah. Curly, 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 post. Curly, 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 curly flag. Yeah. <laughs> cool. Yeah. So that's wall frame number two complete. In the first video, we worked on uh, wall frame one, which is that one there on the model. And this one is wall frame two, which is the one just to the right of it. And then shortly, we shall be starting uh, wall frame three on the right hand side there i thought we'd just quickly run over the model show show the model just so it's uh, clear what it is because when it's all laid down like this it's kind of hard to uh, keep track of what everything is but yeah we've got one wall frame one wall frame two and wall frame three so the next task is to start wall frame number three all right morning everyone so start of a new frame that frame's done so we're going to take two of the posts off of it so it's not in the way Everyone's going to probably start laying them up and I'm going to start getting the braces cut out because I've become the main brace man. <laughs> so yeah, uh, yeah, going to get to work another wall frame. Go. Okay. All right, a little bit of an issue. So, uh, so one of these slabs that I need for one of the braces has just got a bit too much sap wood on it. And I just don't think it's gonna be structurally that great. So I'm gonna to have to leave early, go and mill another curved wiggly one. And um, yeah, I have to do that. So yeah, 
So now there's going to be uh, another wiggly one, another curved one on this wall instead. So I'm going to get my trailer unloaded and then I'm going to go and mill another curved one. Day. so I've just come back with this that I milled last night so Steve just scribed them and now everyone's cutting stuff out nice on the mortiser I'm just catching up the filming and I'll probably go cleaning out mortises because that's the uh, apprentice job and I'm the apprentice around here Right, we've had a big uh, mortising and tenon cleaning up session and I think we're ready to do the first test fit. Steve just gone around drilling all of the uh, peg holes. We've all tested all the braces and all the mortises and yeah, ready to do the first fit. And this is the last wall frame. I think. How are you getting on Steve? Is it fitting for you? Yeah, I think we're nearly there. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, Mark, yeah. 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 Yeah, 
cream, Steve. <laughs> Too far. Well fitted moleskin. Howard and Steve are just uh, reassembling the two posts for Wolfram 2 that we started at the start of this video. We thought it'd be nice to have them both uh, assembled. Um, but yeah, Wolfram 3 is done now, so that's a pretty pivotal point in this build really, because that's the three main Wolframes are complete. So from this point onwards, we need to basically take out all of the posts and then reassemble them so to do the cross frames because now the long frames are done so now we need to reassemble it all in a way in which we can lay out the cross frames or the frames that uh, support the floor um, so there's five more layups left to do and 20 something odd braces and then there's still five trusses to do after that so we've definitely got our work cut out for us but it's going to plan it's going really well i'm really happy with the quality of work and uh, we all seem to be working really well together and yeah i can't really complain it's uh it's just all going very very smooth and i think you'll agree that it's just looking absolutely great so that's going to conclude this video i hope you enjoyed it and thanks for watching